Hello, it's Sherry here from What Children Really Want. Would you like to hear a fairy tale? This is an audio story, which means you won't see the pictures. You'll just see a nice screen with twinkling stars on it. So just relax and listen to the story of... Mr. and Mrs. Vinegar. Poor Mr. Vinegar lived with his wife, his cat and his canary in a vinegar bottle. One day, tidy Mrs. Vinegar swept the floor so fiercely that she knocked the broom handle right through the bottle. Shaking glass out of her hair, she ran off to find her husband. Oh, she cried, I've smashed our home with that clumsy broom. Oh, said Mr. Vinegar when he saw the damage but we still have the wooden door. He heaved it onto his back. Fetch the cat and the canary and let us go and seek our fortune. So they set out and trudged on and on till night fell. If we haul this door into a tree, we can sleep on it, said Mr Vinegar. What a good idea, said Mrs Vinegar. And soon they were fast asleep in an old oak tree. Suddenly, they were jerked awake by harsh voices and the clink of coins. There were three robbers at the foot of the tree. Mr and Mrs Vinegar were terrified. They trembled so much that they shook the door and themselves down onto the robbers. Then it was the robbers who were terrified. They took to their heels and fled. When the sun came up, Mr and Mrs Vinegar found themselves sitting on a pile of golden coins. We're rich, cried Mr Vinegar, when he had counted up to 40 coins. I shall look for somewhere to live, said his wife. You must take these 40 coins to the next town and buy a cow. Then I can make butter and cheese to sell and we shall live quite well. Mr Vinegar soon found someone at the market with a cow to sell. I'll give you 40 coins for your beautiful cow, said Mr Vinegar to the owner. She's yours, said the man quickly, knowing it was too much to pay. As he was leading the cow through the busy town, Mr Vinegar saw a man playing a bagpipe. He was taking pocketfuls of money from the crowd. Oh, now there's a quicker way to make a fortune, muttered Mr Vinegar. And to the piper he said, "'Tis a wonderful instrument. It is, it is, and it pays the player too, said the man. What would you take for it? inquired Mr Vinegar. All I have is this cow. That'll do, said the piper, quickly handing over his bagpipe. Mr Vinegar tried to play a tune, but the pipe just squealed and wailed. People shouted, boys threw stones, and Mr Vinegar knew it was time to leave town. Besides, a cold wind was turning his fingers blue. Then he saw a man coming along wearing a pair of thick leather gloves. This bagpipe for your thick leather gloves, Mr Vinegar offered. Done, said the man, and next moment gloves and bagpipe had changed hands. But Mr Vinegar was getting tired, so when he saw a man striding along with a fine stout stick, he gladly gave up his leather gloves for it. Back at the old oak tree, a wise old crow was perched on a branch. You spent all your money on a cow, he croaked. Exchanged her for a bagpipe you could not play. Exchanged the pipe for a pair of old gloves and even gave them away for a stick you could have cut from any hedge. Foolish Mr Vinegar! Grrr! Mr Vinegar was so cross that he flung the stick at the crow and it was lost among the branches. So foolish Mr Vinegar had nothing to take back to his wife. She was angry.
thank you so much for listening to Storytime with Sherry. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.